Hi guys! This week we're here at Sedona View RV Resort and check out the view. But first we got to tell you how we got here and we'll do that right after this. Alright, come here. Well, we gotta wish everybody a happy holiday season. I know you want to. Hey guys, we want to interrupt this video to wish all our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos a very happy holiday season and and a very happy new year for the year 2021 which we really hope will turn out to be a much better year than 2020. That's right we made it through 2020 hooray let's hope 2021 is going to be much better. Thank you. And thank you for watching our videos. See you next year. Yep. Okay, guys. That was good. That was good. That was good. So we left Lake Havasu, and we wanted to kind of change the route a little bit. So our, our plan was to come down from I-40 to Prescott and then loop around and come in from the south to here instead of just coming down from the north. And, well... We kind of, we, we thought we bypassed this Jerome, uh, Arizona uh, pass, and that's a mountain pass with switchbacks. It's about 20 miles or so, I think even more than that, of up and down, back and forth mountain roads, very sharp turns, and it was really quite the drive. So we'll show you some video of that, and then we'll come back and tell you more about this campground. <laughs> Sometimes when you're traveling, your GPS takes you on a route that is probably not the best for towing a trailer, and that itself can turn into an adventure. So this adventure that the GPS took us on, we went through the town of Jerome, Arizona, which is, it's a quaint little town. There appears to be some shops and maybe a couple restaurants, but the day we drove through, it was very crowded there. So um, we, did, we didn't stop. And in fact, there, I didn't really see, or we didn't really see any place appropriate that you could stop with a trailer. So we just continued on along this windy road, which for me was somewhat of a nail biter. And you hold on, because some places there were no guardrails and it was quite a long way down. So a little bit frightening for me.
Sedona View RV Resort. And just to kind of show you this view that's behind us, back here is Cottonwood, and that's where this park is located, just outside of Cottonwood. Over in that direction is Jerome, Arizona, and Sedona is that way. And the views here are just fantastic. The sunsets are awesome. It's really one of our favorite uh, RV parks that we've been to, or RV resorts. RV resorts. And it's probably, yeah, one of the nicest we've ever stayed at. It seems to be relatively new, just looking to install Wi-Fi, and I understand it's supposed to be installed within the next few days. But we had one of the best sites with the view of yeah. the mountains. And um, so, I, and in fact, we may come back this way depending on how things go after, into January as we're looking towards February. Right, All right. this might be a good spot for us to come back because we, we took a ride down to Sedona while we were here yesterday and we'll show you some of that. So what's it like to drive? It's fine. You know, I mean, I've been driving for a long time. This is just different than driving either of our other cars. Although, we've never had a truck this big before, but we've had other small trucks, and we had a van, but we've had several smaller trucks, right? Plus, we have the Class C. Right. I say this has to be closer to the Class C than any of those trucks. Probably the size of it, and have you know, being it has a cap cap on it. Yeah, you know, I guess so. But it's been a long time since we had that. Right. You know, I would have been. I couldn't have driven down that one road we did the other day. Well, not with a trailer. I, I didn't even think by with just the truck. Oh. It was just oh, no. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I could. Although I wouldn't mind going back to that, you know, that small town city. Yeah, I wouldn't mind coming back to this area. It's a nice area. Uptown Sedona. Well, yeah, I guess Uptown, right. Yeah, this is Uptown Sedona, and it's shopping. Basically shopping and eating. A lot of little, um, I don't really want to just say gift shops. They're not typical gift shops, but they're, you know, artistic gift shops or whatever. Right, a lot of Indian jewelry, Indian artware. Yeah. Um, a lot of ice cream shops. Yeah, there's a lot of food too. Yeah, a lot of food. Yeah, places to get food and such. Right. Jewelry. You said jewelry, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very crowded, very busy. Well, that's probably because it's Thanksgiving week. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people are taking a week off. Yeah. Anyway. And beautiful scenery. Yeah, everywhere you look, there's a you know, gorgeous mountain in the background. Right. And it's a nice day. I mean it's not super warm, but there's no, no it's clouds. About 70 or so. No, I mean, I'd say 60. Okay. But the sun's warm. Yeah, so the sun is very warm. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, nice, a nice place to visit. Yeah. But we really didn't get a chance to really explore this area. There's so much to do here hiking, shopping, you know, there's just everything here. It's, it's really a, a wonderful place to, you know, to get out and have a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. There are a couple uh, national monuments that you can go see. We only got a chance to visit one, but we hope to, in fact, we may go back there again and 
possibly see the other two sites. Right, so we got to see Montezuma Castle, which is thousands of year old um, cliff dwellings that are preserved up in the, on the cliff. Right. Um, and we got, you know, it's, it's a national monument. We were able to take Zephyr and Monty there because it's paved paths, and so they were able to enjoy the walk with us. It's like a half a mile. Yeah, it's not, it's not very long. Right, we'll show you some video of that right now. It was still twenty dollars if you had the pass. Really? Yeah. Right. Ten dollars per person. Monty. Eating squirrels. Or tell that to Zephyr too. Zephyr, do not feed the squirrels. <laughs> you should be a bark ranger. Yes. We have a park, park ranger program here. Oh yeah? Oh. If they, if you bag what they drop, mm -hmm. always remain on a leash, respect wildlife and keep to the trail, you get to be a park ranger. We actually sell dog tags and they're in the shape of a park ranger uh, okay. <laughs> badge and instead of park ranger it actually says bark ranger. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> well, haven't you and I made friends? Yes. <laughs> she makes friends with most people. Hey, what's the other one's name? This is Zephyr and that's Monty. Monty! 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 Oh, Zephyr's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no. You just pet me. <laughs> it's all about her. <laughs> I see that. Hey, you. Hi, Paul. Oh. All right, we gotta move on. I found a friend. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, bye, sweetie. You say, does people do people live in these caves? about why they left. Why do you think they left? Um, you know, to pursue a better life. Enjoy mm. themselves, just as you and I. So what did you think of Montezuma Castle? I thought it was really neat. Um, it was very interesting to see. It was a very short walk along a pa uh, paved path. And uh, along the way, they had written explanations of, of the different sites and the different uh, vegetation and the trees. Yeah, it was very interesting. It's, right. You know, it's always nice to learn something about history that you didn't know. Right, and they tried to give you a little bit of the history of the place, what they know, because they don't know everything. Right. Uh, you know, by the time, it, modern times found it, you know, it had been pretty much looted and there was really no, you know, th it had been thousands of years since they'd been there, really. Right, So right. it really had changed quite a bit, but it was pretty neat. I mean, not thousands of years, hundreds of years, <laughs> but it changed quite a bit. But it was it was a lot of fun, and it was nice that we could take the dogs. And Zephyr made a new friend, and she's now a bark ranger. Well, and so both, both the dogs are bark rangers. Bark rangers, yep. So right. they they entered in the bark ranger program. Right, but Zephyr made friends with the park ranger. Yes, it was where we learned about the bark ranger program. Right, right. right. It was kind of fun. So. Yeah. And it's only about yeah. 
20 minutes from our campground and so we're in Cot staying in Cottonwood so it's about 20 minutes from Cottonwood Arizona right off uh, Interstate 17. Right. So it's very easy for us to get to. Right exactly. All right so check it out if you're ever in this area. So you can see from that that it's really a very enjoyable place to go and, and take a little walk. It doesn't take long. It's ten dollars per person to get in. Yes. Um, so there is a little bit of a fee, but it's good for a week, so you can come back to that. Or there's three other locations that you can go to on that same ten dollars. So it's it's worth it. It's well, yes, it's well worth it. Yeah, and I think if you have a national parks pass, you might get a discount or a savings or something. We didn't we didn't have ours with us, so we weren't able to use it. Yeah. Well, I guess you know it's time for us to move on to the next place. Right. Uh, today we're headed to Williams, Arizona. We are staying at a KOA there until this coming Saturday. We, we got some family in this area that we're going to spend Thanksgiving with and Williams is a nice area. They live in Williams and it's a nice area and it's noted for the Grand Canyon train which we will try to get some footage of and maybe we'll sneak into the Grand Canyon for an afternoon or something while we're up there. So look forward to that but in the meantime if you like this video please do what? Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications. Give us a thumbs up to let us know that you liked it so that we get some feedback. Leave us a comment in the comments below if you could. And until the next time, we will see you down the road. All right, bye everybody. Bye.